All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is temporarily attach this panel to the door here so that we can start kind of test fitting and fine tuning it. And what we wanna do is make sure that every time we're putting this on, it's going back into the same spot so every time we make an adjustment, we know it's right where it needs to be. And uh, the way I like to do this is I use these little self-tapping screws here because we can pull them in and out and um, it, the panel goes right back in the same spot every time. So basically what uh, we're going to do is get this centered right in the position where we want it to and then we're going to take our drill and I have this, uh, they make these little magnetic attachments for these screws which I recommend, they're really helpful. And uh, we're just going to put three of them in there and then uh, we can go ahead and start making our adjustments. So I just want to get this as close to centered as you can. And you make sure you just feel all the edges, make sure they feel even, make sure that your, our holes are all centered. And I'm using my knee here to help kind of hold it up, which is uh, handy. Because that'll, you can use your knee to sort of adjust the height. And all I'm doing is just feeling around to make sure that the edges are pretty centered. And I'm liking where this guy is right now, so I'm going to go ahead and put one of these screws in. Alright, so there, now every time we need to pull this off, 
we can just put these three screws back in and we know it's right where it needs to be. So next thing I'm going to show you is where we want this panel to be and where we need to make adjustments. All right, so I want to show you guys what it is that I'm looking for when I'm fitting these panels on here. And I've got a close up here on the edge of the door. And basically what I'm looking for is see how we have a little bit of a gap from the edge of the door to the door panel there. This is actually perfect. This is right about where you want it. You don't want it to be directly on the edge. Reason being is when you wrap this panel with fabric, it's going to add a little bit of uh, thickness to the door panel. And you can see there how nice that lines up. Um, and it's okay. you don't want it you don't want the door panel necessarily to be directly to the very edge um, even when it's wrapped with fabric because what can end up happening is it can end up rubbing on stuff so something about like that is what I'm, I typically try and shoot for it looks really nice um, if you have it so that the door panel is lined up right on the edge and then you wrap it with fabric and then it sticks out a little bit. I don't really like that look. Um, and also, again, you can run into issues with it rubbing on the door jam and tearing the fabric. So what you want to do is just kind of go around the whole edge of your door panel and check that that all looks nice. And on this one, the bottom is looking really nice. But here on the inner edge, I'll show you what we're looking for. You can see, actually also I had to put this extra screw in here because this door, it's really curved, so I needed to hold this panel in up against the door here. But you can see here, let me actually get some light, that the door panel is sticking past the edge and this isn't what we want and even here down here on the corner it's actually sticking quite a bit past the edge so what we're gonna do is just come in here and make marks with our upholstery pencil and I kinda like to just you know make a mark a line of kind of about how thick how much material I want to take off so I'm going to go all the way around the door panel. It's pretty much this entire edge that's a little bit too big. So I'm going to go around the entire door panel. Anywhere where it's sticking out quite a bit farther, you can come around from the back side and actually mark it if you need to. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'm going to show you how to sand it off and then how to check it again. All right, so I went ahead and made my marks on about how much material I want to move and where. And I'm going to start off using my long block. Um, basically, you just want to use these as a guide. You don't want to follow them exactly to where you started because, or exactly where you marked them. What you want to do is just evenly take off material um, in the spots you know where you where you kind of marked where it needed a little bit more or a little bit less but uh, what you want to do is end up with a nice straight even um, line here you don't want to really pay attention directly on you know maybe your marks a little bit wiggly or something so keep that in mind and just remember that our goal here is to take material down but also keep the line nice and straight. So that's what I'm going to work on here and that's why I'm going to start with my long block. And I can obviously I can see here at the bottom that um, I need to take off a little bit more material so I'm going to concentrate 
here at the bottom more and then I'll start to slowly work my way up to the top here with uh, longer strokes and uh, start to take off some of the material up here. Alright, so I'm liking how this is starting to look here. I'm going to switch over to my short block to touch up on some of these corners. All right, so that's uh, looking pretty good. I think we're ready for another test fit. All right, so we're just gonna screw this panel back in place and check to see where we are with, uh, with the adjustment we just made. I like to leave these screws 
a little loose before I tighten them back up, just so I can move the panel around while I'm lining them up. Okay, so I'm going to check this edge that we just made the adjustment on. And it looks like to me we need to go a little bit more in some of these spots. So I'm just going to mark this again. And it's definitely better to do this in uh, a couple adjustments rather than trying to get it all in one shot and going way too far because then you have to make the whole panel again. So don't worry about it if this takes a little bit of time. Just be patient. And if you're wondering how I'm actually making these marks, I'll show you a close up real quick. Basically all that I'm doing is I'm just holding my finger on the edge like this and holding my pencil about where it is that I want to make my mark so I'm just kind of running my finger as using my finger as a guide and running it up the material and you can move your pencil in and out to make you know different size marks so that's all that's all that little trick is alright so I'm gonna make this adjustment and then we'll test fit it again All right, so this is looking really nice. Um, now the next thing that we're gonna do is install all the clips. <laughs> 